but I want to stash my mini projects in there. So I've got two tiny stitch projects going at the moment. I got two baby projects going at the moment. This one over here, this one's actually one of my designs and I'm just skipping the border to be honest, but it's the skull with roses and vines and it's gonna be really cool when I finish it. I just haven't finished it yet. Um, so we're gonna do that here pretty soon. This has been like an on the couch piece. So I need to finish that one. Very tired. I'm sorry you're tired. That's not fun. Not at all. We hate tired. Henry Cavill's butt isn't great. It's very great. What are you talking about? Henry Cavill's butt is like the greatest. And the butt scale, it's Henry Cavill. He's God tier. Went to Joanne's today and they were setting up the Halloween decorations and you're like, it's too early. Yeah, it is kind of early, but also it's the best time of the year to get them because otherwise you're never going to get them. Yeah, Henry Cavill's ass is God tier. I need to find a pattern for a gift for an attorney who's leaving. Love the crap out of her and it's breaking my heart that she's leaving for a new job, more money, less cases. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's the ideal though. Isn't that the dream? More money, less work. This particular pattern, um, this is actually a really cool one. I really like this and I'm doing it small. So this is for designers for good. Now, if you don't know what designers for good is, we're just a whole entire group of designers that work are working together to just do some good. And so that picture that you saw on screen was all the patterns that are going to be available in this. Basically, here's how this works. We're doing a fundraiser for reproductive freedom. So you go and donate $5 or more to an abortion access charity. You take a screenshot of your donation and you email it to this email address that's on screen. When you do that, we will send you back an email with access to 16 different patterns and they're all here on screen. The one I'm currently working on, this itty bitty one, I'm doing it one over one and it's actually by Stitch Sprout. So this is the actual pattern that I'm working on. And I really, really like it. I think it looks so good. This is 28 count Monaco that I'm doing, stitching it one over one. And I think it'll be really cute when it's done. And that's what all the black I've been using is for. <laughs> Nebit, hello, how are you? Totally understand she has two kids under five. Oh, she'll be great then. And you can't share the code, won't work. You know, actually it won't. We send different codes for each person. You just Bing found bong. out about this? Oh my God. Well, it goes until the end of this month. So you have until July 31st. There are some amazing ones, but also I want y'all to know that I designed something for this. So that's my pattern. This is my pattern and I'm so, so, so proud of it. Squalls, you have until the end of the month. So like, don't worry. You got time. And if you can't, if you can't end up buying these ones, that's okay. On Instagram, I have a pinned post in my profile. If you can go and reshare that, that would be amazing and a huge help in and of itself. So we can just spread the awareness, you know what I mean? Working on Halloween projects? What's the Halloween projects? Oh, there's a pronoun check from Squalls. Smart call. All right, Squalls. Well, hey, let's get that Let's get that over with. Um, listen, if you are just wandering on in here, we are trying our best just to make things like pronouns a bit more common. They should be an absolute commonplace when introducing yourself. So we're just going to do that too. And it's just a part of, it's just a way to make everybody feel like they're welcome in a space. So feel free to share your pronouns in chat. My name is Liz. My pronouns are she, her. You'll find them above my head at all times. So if you ever forget, they're above my face. Um, if you also want to, there is 
an actual web browser extension for your PC and you can go and add that in and assign your pronouns. And then if you're on PC, you should be able to see those at any time for anybody who's ever registered for them. So it's really a neat idea. I, I hope you all participate in it. duck girl she her by the way excellent you're unemployed currently no worries squalls you know what somebody could also donate on your behalf that also could be a thing that somebody can do so maybe depending squalls maybe we should talk later and i'll donate on your behalf you're gonna start one later kd which one are you gonna start she her fox i love that that's perfect he, they, love it, love it. Also, duck. I love duck. It works now. Yay. Duck girl's working. Woo. So, it's just such a great library of um, stitcher, like stitchers that made patterns. They're like witchy stitcher, Tuscan cardinal, urban stitches, uh, witches garden crafts, night spirit. There are some amazing, amazing artists who have been working on this. So, if you ever have questions, you let me know, all right? This is a good emo. I want this as a sticker. Unfortunately, I don't have rights to that as a sticker. But maybe what I can do is actually print some up and give them away for free. But I don't have rights to sell them. What's up? What? 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 What do you want? Are you gonna come tell them? He's like, no. <laughs> Apollo is currently sitting on the other side of the room with his mousy and yelling at me. But listen, if I start to play mousy with Apollo, AKA fetch, it will never end. And I will be up and down every two seconds to throw this mousy. I'm exhausted. <gasps> Krista, thank you so, oh, Krista, awesome, thank you so much, I appreciate you for sharing that link yet again, you are awesome, if you have any questions about it, feel free to let me know, definitely here to help out, what are you doing, Apollo, what are you doing, sir, what are you doing, I'm just going to pet you, you goof, all right, Next, let's sort some flosses. How much have we currently raised? That's a great question. The last time I checked, it was like 14,000. But let me double check and see if I can get a dollar amount. Okay, there we go. I just sent in a message asking if we had a dollar amount update. I'm not sure if we do. I might try to do the Stardew Valley stitch along. It's really cool, I'm not gonna lie to you. And that's a free one to, um, to join. So that one's a free one that you can join, but the supplies might be a little bit much if you don't have everything in house. I know the supplies for me cost like 75 bucks. But if you have everything in house, it would be worth it. Can I donate on behalf of Crafting Squalls? I want to donate, but I don't need the patterns. Yeah, Carly, so do your donation. And then send when you send in your email receipt, say that you're donating on the behalf of somebody else and get Squalls' email address and say that you're donating on behalf of Squalls and tell them. And also in the email said that, make sure you mention that I said it's okay. Like, make sure that you mention that, like, you talk to me about it. You're donating on somebody else's behalf. I'm aware. Then everybody will be all good. 
Yeah, squalls, it's just a lot of floss. But then again, I bought like extras too, so it could be less. You haven't done a sale yet, Nevit. It's a lot of fun. It, it totally depends on which one you want to do. Because sometimes they get a little chaotic, you know what I mean? Sometimes they get a little chaotic and hard to keep up with. Um, but they're fun. They, they definitely can be really great. All right, so let's pull a couple of color drawers because we're just going to work on putting these ones away. Let's organize them and put them in numerical order and then we'll pull the drawers and put everything away. Gmail because I'm classy. Fuck yeah. Gmail because I'm classy. That's exactly how it should be. Classy, bougie, ratchet. <laughs> You know nothing about them, so Nebit, it totally depends. Also, am I saying your name right? But anyway, it totally depends on the person running it. So some sales, like the Stardew Valley one, um, they're not like a piece by piece release. So they're just a throw it out there into the universe. The community stitches it together. And that's the whole get. That's one way a sal can run. Another way that a sal can run is based on, um, like part, like releases. So you could say like part one is coming out on X date. Part two is coming out on another date. Part three is coming out on another date and et cetera, et cetera. Some sales, like the Stardew Valley or a couple of other ones, you know the full image up front. Others, you know and trust the concept and you're buying in based on the concept. So, and you don't know what the full picture is going to be until the very end of the releases. There are a few people where I'm like, I can trust and I can just put blind faith and I know it's gonna be good, so I don't have to worry about, like, the final outcome being a bad one. Um, some of them... What the fuck was that? Hold on. No! in trouble life with pets right sorting threads yeah floss sorting is amazing i have shoebox red blue green it's chaos okay mine's gonna be a little bit different <laughs> yes or stupid no i think that's perfect arsenic for the situation that you're looking at that pattern is perfect that's perfect. I love it. And I have that set, that designer favorited. My dog is a big goofy boy, so lots of... <laughs> That's fair. At least it's not cats. <laughs> cats are a little too much for most people at this point. So the reason... Um, like, sales can be just totally different. It, it just really depends on who's designing them, who's running them. The ones that I tend to participate in myself, um, I like the, I like the concept of the mystery. Like, I really truly like the con- like, it's all artists that I trust and I know, and I've been following for a while, but I like, I end up liking the concept of the mystery of it all. As long as I like the subject matter, I'll buy in. Thirty-seven ninety, 
37, 26, we'll go down here. Here to 8.09. Uh, you have three step cats. Yeah, that's adorable. Okay, I donated. Um, what's next? Can I get the link again? Yeah, absolutely. So here's what you do. Um, so on this link, there is a specific email address that you send stuff to. So it's designingforgoodthings at gmail.com. So what you'll do, send an email to that address, like basically forward your receipt. And when you're forwarding your receipt in the body of the email, just say, hey, I'm friends with Sleeping Luna Designs. Luna and I were talking and I donated on somebody else's behalf. Um... And then what we're going to need, Squalls, if you could DM Carly Knight your email address. Carly can put that in the email and say, hey, I'm donating on, um, I'm donating on behalf of Crafting Squalls. And this is their email address. If you could send them the accesses instead of me, that would be great. And just let them know that you're friends with me. And uh, if they come and ask me about it, I'll vouch. I got you. So, yeah, Squalls, make sure you DM Carly and I art um, your email address. And then y'all be good to go. Carly, thank you so much for that donation. I really appreciate you. That is so sweet. Let's see if I can... I have a dollar amount update. We have currently raised $15,735. $15,735. Woo! It's amazing. Go team. It's so nice. Oh no. Who's in trouble now? to like cough or like choke on something and it's like she has a hairball but she can't get it up and it freaks me out anyway i want to know what i'm getting myself into however 2021 style from peppermint purple is super fun peppermint purple is amazing i love her work arsenic i love that one too but i think the other one is like a little bit more on the nose and i think that'll be really good in the office the other one Friends with Queen Squirrel? Should we be like admitting? Should we be admitting that because you told me not to? I mean, Ministry, you're you're the exception to the rule, my love. <laughs> so the saga continues. This morning, the Squirrel Mafia decided to take over the bird bath. The crows are angry and dive bombing them. There's now a raccoon that lives in the bushes across the street and is eating unguarded garbage. Wow, you have a, like a life of chaos over there, my friend. How are you besides the life of chaos, Domine? Kitty's being mischievous today. Brandy, no joke. Like, absolutely no joke. They are, like, all up in everybody's shit today. Thirty-eight oh seven. So, basically, I'm putting these in numerical order. So, then that way I can go and grab the drawers for each one of these and put them in and then put them back. So it just, it makes my job a little bit easier when I'm looking for stuff. Um, especially cause like, 
If you haven't seen my floss collection, my floss collection's a little chaotic. It's a little outrageous. And... It's just easier to have it all numbered out first <laughs> before going in. My arm hurts. I guess I need to stop. Oh, no. You love chaos? That's excellent. Who said scroll frames could be so expensive? Mood, though. Mood. Yeah, apparently my family's also acting up again. I'm sorry. I apologize. Email sent. Awesome. Carly, thank you so much. And if anybody decides to give anybody problems, direct them to me. Thirty-seven sixty-eight. We'll go right in here. Okay, cool. Right. All the floss is now numerically organized, and we are good to go. So now I get to start pulling drawers. <laughs> yep, that's about right. So, thank you. It's true. Um, Blue Opal, hello. How are you? Ha! <laughs> thank you. One eternity later. That's fair. My little dog has been acting funny today. The stomach's bothering him. Oh, poor baby. Yeah, you can make your own from PVC pipe and Q-snap clamps. That's if you have them. Blue Opal, how are you, honey? Title of Liz's biography. A little chaotic. Okay, but that for real is really a good title. I actually really like that. You're good now? Okay, cool. So if you don't know about my organization system for all my flosses, um, I have all of these drawers. Basically, I got these shelving units out of the automotive section of Amazon. And I got four of them. And they have 64 drawers each of this size. And so what I did was I, I used the labels from Sarithri, the floss labels, and put the labels on the drawers and it's two colors per drawer, but I can basically just stash my flosses either full skein or bobbinated in here. And I have the entire DMC six strand embroidery floss collection over on my wall. It's four of these sets of 64 drawers. A little, thanks. Thanks, Night Spirit. I love you. Speaking of which, Black Metal Witch is here, aka Night Spirit. We love them. And we, by the way, Night Spirit, we have another donation that just came into the inbox. It's somebody donated on behalf of another user here. So I, I said that that's okay as long as email addresses are provided. So in case you get that and you see that, that was me who okayed it. <laughs> I do love organization, right? You're doing well. Hope you and chat's day is going well also. I know my day is going well, but I hope everybody else's day is going well too. We have the same drawers. I have 10 of them. Though. That's a lot of those vintage. Holy shit. That's a lot. Is this laid out floss for one specific project? Yeah, so this is for a pro- This was for a project that I'm a little bit burnt out on right now. And, um... I didn't have them in a project bag. These went for the starter sale, actually. And um, I'm a little burnt down on it at the moment. But the other part of it is I didn't have them in a project bag. And they were sitting on my floor. And I'm like, that's not okay. We need to be more respectful towards our supplies. So we're putting them in the drawers that they're supposed to go in until I need them. I gotta start cleaning up this office. I gotta start feeling more organized in here. I've done it in my kitchen. I've done it in all of our bathrooms. Now I need to start doing it in my office so then I can feel like I can breathe in here. You spent the $2.99? Yes, Tanya! <laughs> Tanya bought a fan fiction to see if she can read it here on stream. I have a really big project back that holds lots of stuff. I do have project bags, but like, they're full at the moment. So here's 645. 6.46. You don't think you can read it on stream? Can you read it in Discord if we put a not safe for work situation on it? 
5,500 skeins of DMC? That's amazing. I'm impressed. It's the dumbest thing you've ever read? Oh no. Oh no. Nine seventy five. You're so close to a finish, Azzy. We are cheering you on. Just change the bad words to opals. Oh my god. <laughs> Gotta take kiddo to mom's. No worries, Vintage. I love you. Mwah. Why is there so many stitching? <gasps> Night. Your kitty is adorable. I love her so much. Stop. You're killing me. No love for BJ again. Debate tonight. Would you offer BJ a job in your cabinet? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. Let's start pulling some floss drawers. I need this one. That one. I need these two. All right, let's start with a couple of these. So we have 30, 30, 21. We have 30, 23. And then 52 and 53, and they each have their own, they're separated out. So there we go. So now we need 3325, which I didn't have much of anyway. So bam, there we go. Oh no, Arsenic, what are you, what are you tempting me with this time, my love? 3345. go I'm no sugar spice and everything nice I'm a sage and I'm sage and hood and wish a motherfucker would <laughs> that's amusing that's that's amusing <laughs> that's amusing I found one of my empty thread boxes. I'm thinking of using it for my silks. I like that idea. You should, definitely. I have one of them. So I have one of my drawers um, set aside for any of my specialties. Some of these are from like a witchy stitcher box from like months or like years ago. Like witch's cauldron. This is from a witchy stitcher box from like years ago. So is Swamp Bane. Um, and then I have a ton. These are all silks from Silks For You. I got a, a Bits and Bobs kit. And I got just all these little samples, this, like sample size or like single skein sizes of silks. And I've never known what to do with them. They're so pretty and so soft though. You have a, a bunch of floss from her floss boxes. Yeah, her floss boxes, oh my God, they are so good. All the silks I have are intended for projects already, except for like one color, that's fair. Yeah, I need to like organize these ones better, but. I need to figure out what to do with them more like. I hope I can figure out something because like this one, the witch's cauldron, this would look really cool on like black and doing something on like doing a solid color project with this on black. I think it would look really neat. Silks are perfect for black work. Yeah, that too, Saren. Maybe. Okay. So I committed a crime sort of. Sort of. So I was working on, 
um, a sale from 2019. It was called Stitching the Night Away. It's Stitching the Night Away's uh, 2019 sale. And then I screwed it up. And then I determined I really hated it. I hated the way that I, not that actual pattern, but the way that I did it. I ended up hating it. So I scrapped the project. And I feel like an idiot. But I want to redo it with something, a better floss. Oh, it's just, it's painful. Would look nice on a sunset orange. Oh, that would. That would, Azzy. You're not wrong. Have a couple worthy labels. Must have come off because I originally had stickers and I actually need to sit down and identify what they are. Ooh, you should do that. Okay, so let's do 3347. They're all super green tones. Okay, have you noticed that like a lot of the DMC green tones are super similar to each other? Like a lot of the DMC like green tones are really close in proximity to one another. Thirty-seven twenty-six. Thirty-seven fifty-five. Thirty-seven sixty-one is next. I am so confused. No, I never would have known. I twitch. Oh no! Oh no! What happened? The bean got the keyboard. I was like, what the heck? Nope, no, nope, the the cat. No, no, absolutely. I'm gonna get going. It was nice seeing you, Carly. Thank you so much for donating to Designers for Good. I really appreciate you, honey. You are so sweet. Thank you, and I will hope to see you soon, okay? Have a good one. Thirty-seven sixty-eight. Thirty-seven eighty-one and thirty-seven ninety. Thirty-seven eighty-one. Here's that drawer. The beans, my toddler. Uh, you know, same shit, different day. I mean, SSDD. <laughs> Thirty-seven ninety. Pegasus taught me to loathe greens. Still a bit eye twitchy. All right, it's fair. Before I go, one year. Yes, one year. It's amazing, Carly. Who has a spiked milkshake? I do. What? I'm sticking with Jeffrey. Jeffrey Best and Bezos. Thank you for subbing with your Twitch Prime 13 months, my love. Thank you so much. You get one Twitch Prime sub every single month, and I'm so honored that you chose to tell Daddy Bezos that we deserved it. Thank you. Enjoy those emotes. I want a spiked milkshake. Ponies, what's your spiked with? Thirty-eight oh seven. Thirty-eight oh nine. Thirty-eight, eleven. Oh shoot! There's a couple more down here. And one of them I actually needed in that last drawer too. I found a thirty-eight, oh eight. So we're gonna put that away real quick. 
And then this one goes back a few rows. It's 3046. So let me find that one real quick. Can't believe I'm missing that one. I can't believe that. There we go. I just found it. Now back to the regularly scheduled line. Did you learn nothing from last night? Apparently not. But like that 32 ounce margarita was hella. If you didn't see the margarita of my dreams last night. I think I fell in love and I, I met the margarita of my dreams. Okay. And, and the margarita of my dreams is. <laughs> I have a better picture of it somewhere, but that's, that's not the important part, but here. This was the margarita and the nachos of my dreams, okay? This was a 32 ounce margarita with a bottle of champagne in it and fresh strawberries. It was literally called the million dollar margarita. This was, and then those are cast iron skillet nachos with steak. Literally like the meal of my dreams. I ate maybe like a third or like a quarter of those nachos and brought the rest home. That was a fucking appetizer. Those nachos are an appetizer. An appetizer. What? What kind of ice cream? Brandy. It depends on where we're getting ice cream from. But also for the milkshake, like it needs to be something good. Like I'm thinking like a chocolate, like a mint chocolate or like a strawberry vanilla swirl. Vanilla ice cream, splash of milk, chocolate syrup, peanut butter. I have never heard of peanut butter whiskey before. That's interesting, ponies. Baby girl, are you back here just chilling? Are you being a silly girl? Yeah, you are. That marg looks so good. It is so, it was so good. I have never chugged an entire margarita like that before in my life. And I, I drank every single ounce of that margarita. And Irish is right. I'm 31. I can't drink like I'm 21 anymore. I can't drink I'm like, like I'm 19 anymore. But like, you know, <laughs> drank the whole fucking thing. And then, okay, but listen. This was the best flan I've ever had in my life. I've had a lot of flan in my lifetime. Because flan is like one of my favorite desserts. I don't usually talk about flan because flan I'm very picky about. But this was the best flan I've ever had in my life. And Tanya agreed and she was sober, okay? So sober Tanya also agreed that this was the best flan we've ever had. It was amazing. And then Tanya got carne asada. Not the flan again, only flans, right? Okay. And ministry, it was all gluten free. So I didn't have that problem. This carne asada was better than anything we've ever gotten in Arizona. Fight me. This was a skirt steak that was cooked medium rare. I just want to know how you get a skirt steak to a perfect medium rare. With that char and that seasoning. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, night, honey. You're missing out. Like, but then again, flan's really picky. It's like a textural thing. Like, I know Frozen hates it because of texture. Yeah. You're sipping chocolate at Claire Coffee? Is it by chance from Bones Coffee Company? Because if you use exclamation point Bones, you can learn more about that whole shindig with us. But they had a chocolate at Claire Coffee. That's like, it is! It's the angel of music! I actually really, hold on. It's this one! I have actually, like, I have to go put all my coffees away later. So that's why all my box of coffee is in here. Because I gotta go organize it. But yeah, this is the chocolate eclair from Bones. I love this. This is really good. 
I want to eat all of this. There are no good restaurants in uh, Vancouver and BC. Yeah. Nominee, you're a five hour drive from me, babes. If you ever come down to see me, we'll take you. Like, it's a little bit pricey, but uh, we'll take you to that place. It was really good. I miss that day in pastry. Azzy, like I said, it's really particular because of the texture. It's like a texture and like sweetness balance. It's kind of tricky. But if you can get it right, like a lot of us will swoon over you until kingdom come. I think it's coffee. Exclamation point coffee. I, I think I maybe, maybe screwed up the command. I think it should be exclamation point coffee. Let me see. You'll teleport? Done. Let's make it happen. There it is. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Yes. So this one's a really good one. And then like, y'all, I'm not even kidding. Like, like I gotta put all of this away. All right. Like, I have, a, I have a problem. I have a problem. Blessed be the caffeine bean. It's the truth. Uh, and then it doesn't hurt that. I mean, I have all this box of just regular coffee on top of that. This is all my espresso. So this is all the espresso I have that's not in my coffee grinder. I am so jelly. <laughs> yeah, so this is all the espresso that's not in the coffee grinder. So like the coffee grinder is completely full. Plus I have all of this. Cake. Okay. Exclamation point Bezos. My coffee grinder is on my, my home list is on one of my coffee lists on my Amazon, on my Amazon list. So I have a store. I have like basically my ideas list on Amazon and you can go in there and check out all my favorite stuff and under coffee and tea, you'll find my coffee grinder. So it was a bit cheaper when I bought it, but this thing works beautifully. So if you need something, wait for it to maybe go on sale, but that's my coffee grinder. I think I picked it up when it was like 45 bucks. So it's a little bit more expensive, but it's really good. The only reason I got into whole bean was because someone got me top of the morning coffee, but the poor fool forgot, or the poor fool got whole bean. Top of the morning, I've always wanted to try. That's Jacksepticeye's coffee line. How is it, Pony? Also, I just picked up more of this salted caramel and it's like beyond outrageous. It's so good. That salted caramel Tarani syrup, it's, it's freaking wild. I drank all of it and then was sad because it was gone. <laughs> Okay, that means I need to try it. The other coffee I've tried from like an influencer was um, by Smosh. They have the My Favorite Coffee brand. It was okay. It was like, it was a solid like morning roast sort of a situation, but it's not something I would like fawn over every day of the week. You know what I mean? I need 26, 27, and 29. And then I need, okay, 30 is also in that drawer. I need 46, 48. And I know I need 52. I need 53 and I need 60. I just don't want to have to keep leaning over and grabbing drawers every time I need one. So we're just going to get them all at once. Um, 
I'm gonna have to have a word um, with Mr. Jack about the stereotyping here. Disappointing from a fellow Irishman. I think he did it on purpose. Well, because um, Irish, his introduction used to be top of the morning to you, laddies. My name is Jack Septicai. So that was, it was part of his brand. So I don't think you can really give him too much shit for it. You know what I mean? So 29 and 30 both go in this drawer. I mean, it was the most fitting name for a coffee company. Yeah, it's true. Okay, and this is 46. Forty-eight. Anybody else have PTSD of this of this color and thirty-eight twenty-one because of the Lunar Princess Sal? Because I do. I like I can't really look at thirty-eight fifty-two and thirty-eight twenty-one without having like some PTSD from Lunar Princess. Like it's a bit too much. <laughs> that was my first game at thirty-eight fifty-three. Oh, good. Good, it's getting filled in. I've only ever watched his Irish accent vid, accents vid. Okay, you need to watch some more Jack Septicai. His, um, his try not to laugh challenges are like my favorite. Okay. All right, Floss Org is almost done. more floss to organize but I'm not gonna do that just yet because that's like a lot a lot it's this is supposed to be like 150 skeins of stuff to organize and since it's in plastic bags I'm okay with it right now oh what up playa what up Amanda what's going on fam um what's the command for donation info I want to do that before I forget no worries it should be just in there for you I think I had set up as like charity but I don't remember but there's a link for you my dear and if you don't know what all of that picture just was I'm part of designers for good and we're raising money for abortion access so then people can have safe access to abortions and reproductive rights so definitely go take a look at that and if you donate five bucks or more and email the receipt to the email address that's listed on that website um we will give you an access code to get 16 different cross stitch patterns and they are all so amazing so five dollar or more donation to a pro-choice organization of your choice we have a few recommended in there as well yeah, it's super easy. You just email easy email was crazy fast back. Yeah. Um, I think there's like four or five people like managing that inbox at the moment. There was a few people managing it. Um, frankly, the only reason I haven't put that email address in my list of Gmail stuff yet is because I have like six emails in my Gmail accounts and I don't want to have to like sign out of everything and then like re-register everything. It's a point of laziness. But like mood <laughs> pro choice choice exactly pro choice choice exactly i love it so the thing about the irish is that we tend to either love or hate with a blind passion that's super fair i'll talk about bruno but don't mention that name okay i'll be nice and i won't mention that name i got you so i am on a deadline for a couple of projects This is for one of my friends who's pregnant. It's not for me. I swear to God. It's not for me. But printed this at 100% scale, just like they asked. And this is going to be for a burp cloth. Now, I've got some different fabrics available to us that we're actually going to end up cutting these out of. So we're going to cut these burp cloths out of the zebra print and the cow print to start. They are super adorable. Super, super cute. These are like a cotton felt sort of a situation. So supposedly what I've been told is that this fabric will be a little bit better like absorbing in case they spit up, in case a baby spits up. 
but one of my friends is having her first baby and she's got a couple of like she's got one crafty family member like her sister-in-law is kind of crafty but i'm in town and i am aiming to be number one auntie like in the beginning i'm aiming to be number one auntie so i want to spoil the shit out of this kid okay so we gotta get the competition phase on of this and start getting these um ready to cut so I'm gonna get to work. And this pattern, let me get a link to that. Just got my new book club book. My brain is melting. What's the new book club book? That's gr that's how I feel. I got a new phone and had to sign into everything again. Right, Squalls? Okay, you get it then. <laughs> I don't feel alone anymore. And now my pattern went away. Why did my pattern go away? Why? Why? Why, why, why? Why, 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 why? Why, why? Why, 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 why? History. Squirrel! Thank you! Was it really before that? Oh, here it is. So the pattern that I'm going to end up making for this is right there for you. Now, now this stuff won't brighten up enough. What is going on with my cameras today? Like, seriously, what is going on with my cameras today? Like, now my camera's too dark, and I don't understand it. Okay, whatever. I just had a- I just made a milkshake. I want one, Brandy! I married a minotaur. Prime mating agency. What the fuck is this? Nominate what? They hate me. And you need one of those margaritas. <laughs> we need to get you one of those margaritas, babes. Like, because that book looks a little concerning. But this pattern is part of this tutorial. Basically what we're looking for to make. That's a 404 error not found. Okay, cool. So this is what I'm looking to make. So then that way, they're contoured to the neck. It's a little bit easier to store that on your shoulder. Like, it's not super uncomfortable. I think this would be a really nice gift to have a few of these available. Sweetling, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Yay. I love it. So, I'm into monster romance. Adds to Kindle. Oh, my God. Amanda, I love you so much. You're my favorite. Those would have been so happy when be, hap, uh, helpful when Bean was tiny, right? Add the spacer above. Hold on. Cut out and tape this edge underneath the main body of this pattern piece to the matching dot. Oh, okay. So I need to print this again. I need to print this one more time because otherwise I won't be able to print this right. Scale 100%. Okay. Cool. Can't donate. All my money is going to my fucking house. No worries, ponies. If you can go on Instagram and reshare... I have a post pinned in my profile. If you can go and reshare that, I would massively appreciate you. Can't you just cut it and flip? No, cause that's not how I'm gonna work. You know me. You absolutely know how I am. That's not gonna be how it goes. 
Oh, Pony, I love you. Tiscuit, hello, how are you? How's it going? So basically right now, I'm just gonna cut this out and then we're gonna try to see if we can start getting some pattern pieces like figured out. Because apparently, I could have just made these out of fat quarters, but like naturally I bought like yards upon yards of fabric. It's been a good day. Awesome. Awesome. What have you been up to on your good day? Okay, three quarters of sewing is like this. Cutting, pinning, cutting, measuring, cutting, pinning, cutting. Being patient, which I am not. Like, you know, everything I'm not is what sewing is. Try reading vinyl. No, I'm good. I'm good. I don't need it. I'm solid. I'm good. I don't need that in my life. We're good. So much vinyl. Posted my story on Insta. Thank you. I appreciate you. Yeah, and ironing. That's another big one. But once you actually like start to sew these, like the instructions on this particular pattern are easy. So basically it's like cut one of the line of facing and backing fabric. With the right sides together, pin and stitch with a quarter inch seam allowance around the entire pad starting out dotted lines. Like why didn't they just build in this? Oh, stitch with a quarter seam allowance. There you go. Notch it around the bends. And then you turn inside out through the opening. So then you leave an opening on one of the sides. Let me show you. So basically you cut this on the fold, right? You put this on the fold. My money don't jiggle jiggle, it folds. My fabric don't jiggle jiggle, it folds. And then on the side over here, you leave a notch, like about an inch. Or you leave like an opening about an inch and then you flip this thing inside out and then you top stitch around the edge to make it lay flat and that's it irons are dangerous indeed they are yes get that lurk going go 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 be careful with the iron. It's got a cord. I know. I know. I'm going to be careful. I promise. Have to run for a little while. No worries, Squalls. I appreciate you being here. Mwah. Thank you so much for the follow and for hanging out. You're amazing. Can't wait to see you again soon, all right? Luna, that's you licking your butt. Never mind. Luna, be a lady on camera. Be a lady. Be a lady. Don't lick your butt on camera. Be a lady. Be a pretty lady. Yes. You're my pretty baby, aren't you? You're cute. She blooped my nose with her nose. And then I realized how gross that is, but like, I don't even care. You missed my response, Tiscuit. I totally did. I streamed a little. Oh, how a stream. Then at a birthday dinner, happy birthday. And you had more margarita. Same. Margaritas are delicious. You had a great day. 
I wonder how they made clothing designs in the old days. Definitely not like this. <laughs> Learn from Stormy's adventures in the ER with a second degree burn. Why the fuck do you have a second degree burn? Cut this out and tape this edge underneath the main body of the pattern. Match with the dotted line. Okay. And then you place this spacer on the fold of the fabric. So then I gotta get some tape real quick and then there we go that'll be our pattern cat I do what I want right irons blame the irons it's true they draped it all, marked it all, marked it off, and then voila, pattern, exactly. Like, let's be a pain in the ass about it. Okay, where's my tape is the big question now. I have that tape, but that's not the tape I was looking for. This is not the tape you were looking for. The tape will end up using. Isn't that right, princess? Isn't that right, my babies? Isn't that right, my baby girl? Aww. Oh, you're falling. This tree needs to be replaced. Tree, my little love. We need to get you a new cat tree. We need to get you a new tree for there. Basically, the only tape I've got. I was gonna use moving tape, and I'm like, no, wait, no, why do I need packing tape for this? I don't need packing tape for this shit. <laughs> There's my masking tape. There we go. I'm going to take the back, too, just to be safe. Just to be safe. Better safe than sorry. Okay, so there's our pattern piece. And then the other thing I just noticed One, that- 